Many patients don't realize how difficult constipation and stomach upset will be when they first start taking iron supplements. You may need iron to treat anemia, which will improve your thinking, energy, and boost immunity, but very quickly your stomach feels like it is killing you. Today I will teach you how to get relief from the side effects of iron supplements. Hey guys, my name is Dr. Sam. Now iron is pretty rough on our gut and it's extremely common for people to get constipation, nausea, indigestion, gas and bloating. Unfortunately the cause of these side effects is the iron itself, not any of the added ingredients. So what can you do? Try it with vitamin C rich fruit or fruit juice. You want the best bang for your buck when it comes to iron absorption as iron is absorbed best on an empty stomach. So one hour before food or two hours after food. However, if this is just not working for you, try taking the supplement with citrus fruit like an orange or mandarin, kiwi fruit, black currants, strawberries, raspberries, or try orange juice and fruit juices with added vitamin C. Ascorbic acid or vitamin C has been proven to help the body absorb up to four times more iron. This step may help with side effects like constipation and nausea. Avoid foods that reduce iron absorption. On the flip side of this coin, you should avoid foods that reduce iron absorption for one hour before or two hours after taking a supplement. Dairy products, tea, coffee, wine, calcium supplements and antacids are all known culprits that can undo your good work. Switch types of supplement. You need about 100 to 200 milligrams of elemental iron a day to build up your iron stores. When it comes to getting enough elemental iron, not all supplements are equal. If you take 300 milligrams of ferrous sulfate, you'll get 60 milligrams of iron within each dose. If you take 300 milligrams of ferrous gluconate, you'll only have 34 milligrams of iron in each dose. Ferrous gluconate will give you less side effects, but the trade-off is that it replaces your iron more slowly. Slow release or sustained release supplements. Slow release forms of iron supplements tend to cause less side effects, but they have their drawbacks. You absorb iron best in the first part of your intestine, which is called the duodenum. A slow release iron supplement can travel past this area before releasing iron so that you don't ever have a chance to absorb it. The other problem is that they tend to be more expensive than other types of iron. Halve the dose. When it comes to having no iron or having some, I will always compromise if it makes it easier for my patients. By having less iron, it will cause you less side effects. One unconventional solution is to ask your doctor for a liquid form of iron. You can then experiment by gradually lowering your dose until you get to a level that does not cause you symptoms. Then once your body gets used to the iron, you can slowly increase the dose up again. Liquid iron can sometimes stain your teeth though, so try drinking it through a straw to reduce this. Split the dose. Another really simple solution is to halve the dose and take half a tablet in the morning and the other half in the evening. Or you can take the supplement every other day. Again, if you are having less iron, it will cause your gut less side effects. Please be aware that sustained release preparations should not be halved. IV iron infusion. If you have tried iron supplements for three months and you clearly cannot tolerate them because of the side effects, have a chat to your doctor about whether it's safe for you to have an IV iron infusion. Now bear in mind that an iron infusion isn't a total picnic either in terms of side effects, but it may be the lesser of two evils. In my home city, a medicine called ferric carboxymaltose or ferinject is the common treatment given as an intravenous infusion. A blood test is checked about 6 to 12 weeks after the treatment is completed to see if you need another infusion. Are there any other side effects that you should worry about? The most common side effect, bar none, is 
which can frighten you so much is to get dark colored bowel motions or black stools when you first start taking iron. This isn't harmful, although it may disturb you the first time you see this. Please give this video a like if you enjoyed it, hit the subscribe button for new videos every single week and hit the bell to get notified when I post new videos on Tuesdays. Please let me know in the comments what you enjoyed about this video and what you want to learn more about. Feel free to check out my other playlist on supplements. I'll see you again soon.